Hello there, Akshit. It's nice to see these essays from you. Um, let's get right into your correction so we can see what you had to say. All right. Uh, some people think that schools have to be more entertaining, while others think that their sole purpose is to educate. Which do you agree with? Let's see what you said. Schools are the learning hubs, and their teaching methodology is heavily debated on upon. I personally believe that they should be enjoyable because they are responsible for the overall growth of students. In this essay, I should discuss my view, citing examples from Cambridge University and Indian Education Ministry and the Indian Education Ministry to prove my argument. Okay, fine, lovely. Firstly, most of the time spent by pupils is in school, and it should be utilized in a more meaningful and enjoyable, not more enjoying, enjoyable manner. This is because making learning fun allows children to show enthusiasm towards learning. For example, a recent study by Cambridge University has shown students who learn through games and quizzes has shown that students who learned through games and quizzes were able to retain the information longer and were able to show its, uh, its practical use. Okay, fine. As a result, this uh, school, not the school, but school should be more entertaining as it quickens and strengthens learning among children. Okay, fine. Uh, secondly, the overall abilities of students in the modern world have often reduced significantly. Uh, the overall abilities have, re have reduced significantly. Not sure what that means. Um, the overall abilities have reduced significantly. All right, well, let's see what you do with it and how you develop it. This is often due to the fact that children find it boring and soon lose their interest. Uh, I, I still don't understand. What does this mean? Which abilities uh, have reduced? And I don't even know if I like the word reduced here. Perhaps instead it should be the overall abilities have uh, lessened or... But it, it's not clear. So maybe you can be a little more specific about what abilities you mean and what you mean by reduced significantly. Um... And then you said, find it boring. Find what boring? Do you understand? I mean, you're referring to something here, but I don't know what that something is. They find education boring. They find uh, abilities boring. They find the modern world boring. It's not clear what you mean here. Okay, so careful when you use pronouns without making it clear what it's referring to. Uh, okay, so furthermore, they usually build up stress due to high workload. All right. Um, a Again, I would say that maybe there are some word errors here, like, uh, furthermore, they uh, develop stress due to their high workload. For instance, recent studies by the Indian Education Ministry reveal that many students do not find school without the to be meaningful and only attend for a diploma or due to parental pressure. As a result, consequently, as a result of monotonous teaching, many kids end up depressed at a young age and often develop a psychological, a psychological barrier in the coming years. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about the development of this. Now, in this paragraph, you talked about how it, important it is to um, use entertaining methods while uh, at school. Here, I'm not really sure what you're discussing here. Um, the central idea is not clear, so that's a problem. Um, I'm not sure what you're trying to do, really. Um, are you trying to continue with this argument about how important it is to have um, entertainment in schools as part of the lesson? Um, I, I'm not, I'm really unsure about this entire paragraph. It, the development of it is, um, problematic for me. All right, let's uh, finish with your conclusion. To conclude, if education was entertaining, the process of learning would quicken and be more enjoyable, reducing the number of students experiencing stress. Okay. In future, the education, not the, just education. It's an abstract noun, so no the here. Education will most likely become entertaining and work towards the overall development of students, of students without the, okay, because you're not talking about a specific group of students, so just leave it without the. All right, let's move on to the second essay, uh, an enjoyable activity with a child. Let's see. The development of children is usually parents' utmost desire, okay? Let's put an apostrophe after the S in parents. 
and many recommend reading, but I personally believe that there are numerous other activities like video games, comma, playing, sp oh, like video games and playing sports. In this essay, I will discuss my view, citing examples such as the benefit of playing sports and video games to prove my argument. Okay, lovely. Firstly, reading has tremendous benefits. However, playing on game consoles has S here because it's playing. That's your noun. However, playing on game consoles has even more advantages. This is due to the fact that games develop reflexes and cognitive abilities. Also, unlike reading, playing on consoles will introduce individuals to the real world by improving their social skills. For, for instance, recent research by Harvard University shows that children playing on game consoles daily for one hour showed better results in psychometric tests than their peers. As a result, gaming consoles should be encouraged among children for they improve, because it's consoles, uh, their neural connectivity as well as introduces them or introduces children to the real world. Let's not have too many pronouns and make it unclear what we're referring to. Uh, so this should be introduces them. Secondly, sports are also a better alternative to reading. This is because it develops uh, they, sports, they develop their physical abilities and develop, qual again develop? Uh, mm -mm, let's try a different word here. Um, just a different word in one of these two places, not develop, develop. Or you could have said, this is because they develop their physical skills and qualities such as teamwork and leadership. Much better that way. Furthermore, they do better at who is they. You have not mentioned children at all in this paragraph. So just assuming that the reader knows that they refers to children is a mistake. So let's put here. Furthermore, children do better academically as sports require memorization and repetition, which are important skill sets for classwork. For example, recent studies by MIT show, recent studies show, that many students with a background in sports outperform their peers in academic subjects. Consequently, sports is essential. Sports are, really, uh, essential for physical growth as well as soft skills among children. Please don't write the word kids in, in an IELTS essay. It should always be children. Kids is just too informal. Okay, so to conclude, sports and video games develop social skills, physical abilities, and also help them to perform better academically in the future. Reading will not be used to develop better skills as it will be replaced by other methods such as sports and video games. All right, this is quite nice. You've done a good job. You've really followed the acronym from the course quite well, so I'm happy with that. Um, let's see. I mean, just some small things that I mentioned throughout the essay, um, but you're on a nice track with this one. All right, so now obviously you need to correct these essays. You need to return them back to us corrected. And don't forget about your error correction list. Um, send everything back to us with your new essays. So um, you can, uh, and obviously in the next 24 hours or so, you can really apply everything you've been learning. All right, so I will leave you then to that task. Uh, lots of luck with your next writing assignments, and I'm looking forward to them.